Your situation can never be stronger than the word of God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This Bible you see in our hand is the most guided book for human beings. The most guided book. It carries my, all my needs. It carries all your needs. It has solution to my need. It has solution to your need. If you care to know. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 32 he said, be careful about these commandments. Be careful of these commandments. If you want to be, you want it to be well with you and you want to live long, then be careful about this word. Determine chapter 28 verse 1 he said if you diligently hearken to his voice and do not turn either to left or right side outside this book he said, you shall be lifted up above the nations of the earth. He said you shall be lifted only above shall you go. You have place on top if you allow this book to guide you. If you like to be there, allow this book to guide you. If you stop following God, things outside God will start following you. If you want God to continue to be your God, they don't stop serving God. But where man stop with God, now there God is stop with man. Praise the Lord. When you stop following God, things outside the world will start following you. If you stop following God, praise the Lord. Maybe I'm in charge. I don't know whether you are in charge. Me, I'm in charge. I will mean, touch like three of them now. I'm in charge. Bible says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate in this book day and night and have good success and make your way prosperous. If you are failing, you have a solution in this book. Something is troubling your life, you have a solution inside this book. But when, when you refuse to uh, or you refuse to abide to what he said, or, or you refuse to do what he commanded you to do, and your and your and your mind is telling you, just be patient, things go happen. It's it not gonna happen, no. Your mind is telling you, oh, don't be, yeah, be patient. You can never be patient. For ignorance, you don't know it and you'll be patient. Patient for what? You never do the right thing and your mind tells you, you no know worry, you go, you go better one day. Where you go better? I don't understand. Your mind they tell you, you say, don't worry, you go better. Oh, don't worry, just be patient. And you have never done the right thing. You don't do the right thing and your mind they tell you, you say, don't worry, get patient, you go better. You don't go better one day. You don't go better because why? You have not done the right thing. Your mind is only deceiving you. Don't worry, they go to church, you go better. And you never do the right thing. This is ignorant. You can't be patient for ignorance. You don't know it and you're patient. He said, he said, he said, he said, only the violent. He said, since John the Baptist, only the violent man. You are patient and you never do the right thing. You are patient. Don't want to be patient. You don't, you don't pay tight. You're patient. If you don't serve God, you're patient. You're just patient for nothing. You're just patient for nothing. Don't want to say, the patient dog eat the fattest bone. You need to join dog family. <laughs> go and join dog family for that thing. You're patient. 
and you don't do the right thing. Nothing. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you need to call yourself to order. Sometimes you need to call yourself and talk to yourself. Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Am I really following God or I'm following myself? Call yourself to order. Am I following God or I'm following my life? Everything you are doing, am I doing, am I doing this thing right? Because everything you need in life is there for God's hand. Your need spiritually go handle spiritual hand go handle out. That thing we define there for spiritual hand. You know there was physical hand, there was spiritual hand. Remember the Bible says only the meek will God teach. And only the meek will God guide. You are not doing the right thing. You will say, "Do you gaga? I I go get money. You go, how? He said, only the meek will God teach. Only the meek will God guide. Only the meek God go guide. Only the meek God go teach. Praise the Lord." And only the only the redeem is show mystery. You know, we show everybody mystery. He it's giving you to know the mystery of the kingdom. He's talking about the redeem. He said, But to them that are without, it's like parable to them. He's talking about only the redeem. Now he goes show mystery. You're not going to show everybody mystery now. He show only the redeem. Only the redeem. Now he goes show. Don't worry, do this and this and this and this is going to happen. Do this and this. No, let the redeem then get access to that thing. Not everybody. You are not a child of God and you think you have no mystery. I don't know how it's possible. Myself and some group of people there, and I just, we just started newly. Myself and the people, we just start. And I go take blood of Jesus. I go just pray and talk and to somebody. Person go begin manifest things, go begin happen. They to go do the same thing and nothing happened. They say, now Juju, me how they use. Say, now Juju, they use. We do the same thing, not happen now. I say, because only the redeem, now you go give access to that thing. Not every, not every Tom, they can hurry. Not everybody. Everybody. You see, the Bible said, uh, the man said to Jesus, one of the disciples said, one of the disciples said why couldn't we cast out this demon? They said, this kind. I will know how to do them. This kind go by prayer and by fasting. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. You hold the truth in your hand until you become a child, until you see solution. You hold the truth in your hand. That's what it be. That's what they walk. If they walk like that, hold the truth in your hand and fire they go. You never hold the truth. You never, what what will happen? You must hold the truth in your hand and you fire the go until you see result. You hold the truth in your hand. It's not just it's gonna happen, get patient, go up. It's not gonna happen, no. You must hold the truth in your hand for these things to happen. I'm talking about strength, financial strength of two thousand men. Then go show me. It won't happen. It won't happen for here. One apple for here. One apple for here. My 411 said, is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. God's word is for his children alone. So if you are not a child of God, don't expect to be guided by his word. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 said, Because they are spiritually designed, they are not made for carnal people. Because only, only spiritual men understand spiritual things. That's why one short man for you, they talk anyhow. Because these things are not, they are spiritually, they are not made for carnal men. 
They can hold mic to preach, but they are carnal men. They don't understand the things of the spirit. One short dwarf waiting for you, they talk rubbish. They say, don't pay tight, don't pay this one, don't pay that one. If you don't work for you, say they work for another person. Why not keep quiet? If you don't work for you, you keep quiet now. If they work for me. If you don't work for you. <laughs> Go find where you disconnect your wire from. And plug and wear. A fool. Praise the Lord. God's word are only, or God's word guide only those in love with God. If you are in love with God, He guide you, He teach you, He show you. If you are in love with Him, the Bible says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, no has entered the heart of men. What God has prepared for men and women that love Him. Not for everybody. Then the secret of God is with them that fear Him. Not of me. The secret of God is with men and women that fear God. Not for everybody. I say, ah, this I can't do it. No, 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 I can't do this one. No, no, I can't do this. Ah, because of God, I go do this one. Oh, yeah, oh no, I go take care of it. They can go extra mile. They can go extra mile to do this for their fellow human being. Some they selfish. They're so selfish to their neighbor. They're so selfish to their own life. They cannot offer a cup of water to their neighbor. And you say love God? How you say love God? I say love God. They they they, they selfish to their own life. When they go eat, they go to price them. You say, hey, don't you hear? No, no, no. Give me Pomo. No, no, leave me. Give me Esha. No, no, leave me. Give me that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have one boy in my house. They tell and say, this food no good, no eat him. Because say, jump to the key black man. They jump to the key black man. I can't eat anything. Say, hi, yes. I'll take a good toilet. Even they won't go to work, go say, I go eat town. Just like a black man. And last week, I come to me and say, He said, My teeth, they pay me. I said, Why not go pay you? She be jumps on the key black man. He said, Now, now one teeth, they pay now. He give away the commodity, they tell us, No, we want teeth, they pay you. He said, Now, two teeth, they pay you. He said, Just come out town. <laughs> As he come back, I say, Jams with the key black man. He said, Jams the key black man now. <laughs> Jams the key black man. Can't play with your life. You can't play with your destiny. You don't play with your health. You want to live healthy? There's something you must not eat. There's something you must eat. You must watch your age. You did, you did 70. You say, I see strong. For where? <laughs> where is strong? Say, I can stand up, I can jump up, I can do it. I don't tell you one story one day. I tell you, say, one of our head I go just, I don't go talk the name. He says, he's strong. I drive motor from here, reach on each other. I know the shop, so don't give me this. I say, I'm, they say, I know if you drive from here, reach on each other. What's that? What is from here, don't you? I say, strong. What you be that? I don't reach home now. I know you hold my this one. He said, now, may I tell me the story myself? He said, I say, stand. Now, they yesterday, they call it name for far. They call it, they hear name. I don't want to call it name. They hear name for far. They call it name. He can't they answer, he can't want answer, but the name, the person they call him from far place. When he go wake up, they say they, they pump bucket of water. He like that for granted, they buff of water. They, they call him, they buff of water. He say, I mean, where in the first day? He say, you don't die since you just wake up again. 
You don't die before. Now, now you know they come back. He said, wait. <laughs> but I drive. You drive, come as you stand. Now you die, go. <laughs> the, the secret of God is, is with them that fear God. He go show them how to go about their life. He go show them. He said, one, he said, if you are not meek, you don't have a place with God. If you don't fear God, you don't have a place with God. If you don't love God, you don't have a place with God. You just born again, but you don't have access to his blessings. Yes, you are born again, but you don't have, you don't have access to his blessing because you do some, some things where you're supposed to do. You don't do them. You are not meek. You don't fear God. You don't love God. And at this, now the tool where people tell they gain access to God, God's blessing be this. These are the tools. These are some of the tools. The higher Balaam. Balak, Balak, Haya Balaam, to go cost children of Israel. In Numbers chapter 22, he said, God has not given me the permission. He said, no, no, I don't have access to cost these kind of people. I don't have. Bible says, if your ways are right with God, it makes your enemy to be at peace with you. Praise the Lord. Some people today, they are asking God something in the church. Oh God, I want this. Oh God. And they already made up their mind which they want to. If you want somebody to direct you, you know, you go suspend your own. Uh, your own. You go suspend your own. You can't be asking God questions and why you get your solution somewhere. Say, God, have I show me a road to go my two? And you don't already enter bus where they go by that green. No, 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 possible. They are in the church. They are asking God something. But they already made up their mind what they want to do. Which means you are just catching form. You are not asking God anything. If you're asking God a way to go, you go, wait, make it show you where to go. Nobody say you go ask God question and you don't already make up your mind. Like somebody won't come for counseling, you come for counseling to be guided. And the pastor tells you, say, do like this and do like this. You already make up your mind. So no, not like this, I won't do. You already make up your mind of what you want to do. So you can never be guided. We already make up your mind. Nobody can guide. Even God cannot guide you because you already make up your mind. Praise the Lord. He said, the meek. You're asking God, yet you have what you want to do. You already have what you want to do and you're asking God question. God, um, show me if I go pay my tithe. I say no. I, I you say no, but I'm not gonna pay tithe to you. I go, you, know, you already, you already know what to do, and you asking God question. Just allow the word of God, Jesus, to guide you. Suspend all that thing where you know, because God can never lead you to danger. Until you stop following God, God will need to stop following man. Until you stop following God, He will not stop to guide you. Now, when you stop following God, then God will stop to guide you. When you not stop to follow God, you not going to stop to guide your life. But you can't, you can't say God should guide you, and why you already make up your mind on what you want to do. You can't. You can say, God, show me if this man and my husband. And the man call you, hello, I love you so much. Are, are, are you mad? You already don't make up your mind. A lady came to me and said, he said, Papa, check this men, whether they're my husband. I said, you write three men for me. I said, <laughs> which of these three men don't sleep with you? He looked me. Tell me true. Which of them doesn't? Now small, small. Which of them? I said, go and marry the three of them. Now three of them sleep with you. Go, what are they? Just be the, be the one to start and face. Just marry the three. 
go to their family, go pay their bread price. Uh, now me, they pay bread price now because I don't sleep with the three men. You can't ask question like that. You ask God before you take your step. The step of good men are ordered by the Lord. They ask before they go. No, you don't go before they ask God. They shake me, they ask me, hello, Bishop, uh, make a travel, and you don't they shake me. I'll just say safe journey. That's all. You can't do the term is a hello bishop. Are they uh, between um, Owo and Akure? Are they go Abuja? Make I go. I they Lagos. What the hell make I tell you? Come back. <laughs> I will say safe journey. You ask God. If you want to be guided by God, you ask him first. You ask a face. Because until you stop following God, he will not stop guiding you. You want him to guide you, then you follow him. Whatever I tell you to do, just do it. Yeah, I know that God's word, they will always, also warn people. God, they warn people. Don't go to that place. Don't do this one. Don't do that. He wants people. In, in, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 5, or chapter 3 verse 17, he said he wants his people. He wants them. It tell the prophet to warn them. Don't do like this. Don't go this step. Don't go that one. Don't. He want God was even. They, then they want us pass. The rod and the staff. Psalm twenty three. Comfort me. He wants to warn us. Don't go this way. Don't go that way. Don't. He wants us. God, they want people. Because you want to separate you from the other people. When the firstborn of, his, uh, from, of Egyptians, they die in the land of Egypt, he separates his own people. When things happen to them, he separates his own people. When snakes, they bite them, he separates his people. He said, make a, a brass serpent. If, if you, any one of you, wait them, just look at that brass serpent, you go, you go where? He separates people. That's why he go, warn us. Don't eat this. Don't drink this. Don't do this one. Don't, he want us. And I only just when love God. Then they keep to God warning. We are redeemed to be signs and wonder for this world. We are redeemed not to suffer. You, God cannot call you and then suffer you. We are redeemed to become signs. We are redeemed to become wonders on the earth. We are not redeemed to suffer. We are not redeemed to be, to be mocked at. We are not redeemed to, to beg. We are redeemed to become signs. People see us and say, praise God. If you get tired, say, oh, I get tired. He goes, he comes to an end now. Because if righteous man fall seven times, he goes, he rise up again. You cannot count a righteous man out. Because it's not over until the man go win. And the man must win. Must win. One small trial, you just give up. One small temptation, you just you just throw it away in. That's not how to follow God. That's not to follow God. Praise the Lord. This art was given to the sons of men. Angels have the right to walk in heaven, to rule heaven. But we men are given to this world. This art is given to us. This art, he gave it to the sons of men. Praise the Lord. That side, heaven and them get them. But here, he gave it to the sons of men. You are the one to take charge here. You are the one. Don't let anybody come and bamboozle you. You get a state before you go leave this art. You go ride the car where you like to ride before you leave this art. Now, what I want, now, what thing goes to make I tell you be that? You get estate before you leave this art. Listen to me. As I wake up this morning, God said, Tell my people, grace to have financial set of 2,000 men is what I will give them. It's what I want to do. Because no man, I, I never see the man of this art go be this kind of thing for God. When will it be so? For God, when in life could remain the same. I never see. I was telling 
pastor at the back here, I said, three men came to me. They said, they want to do something in Okoko. And they say, make I donate money. And the money they say they want to use is 100,000. Three able men. I better say, use these three able men. And none of you donate 100,000. 100, what are they coming for 100,000? They say, no. Because I'll be one of them. That's why they say, make they come with me. Make I, if not small, make I put inside. I said, no, Wahala. I go put that small. One of them now turned and said, This house, where did they be here? So, she said, Now, government, they be now. I said, Which government? We, got, we get government. He said, I said, No, be government too. He said, She said, Now, a lot of people, they be now. I said, No, be warehouse too. So, uh, who can the bill and say, now nah, this, I'm in charge people, men and women. Bring God bless. Now then, they, now then they bless that place they go so. <laughs> now the other one say, we for not come home. I say, what you have? He say, for not come, how they going to be this country? We go ask the money. Then I say, please, can I have the account number of the church? Then I say, eh, we give them, that one transfer money back. The other one transfer money back. Some of them money back. I say, ah. Wait, the money one I can't take because say that one, uh, that one. But this one, what we see, we must uh, money must enter inside because if God they bless them, make it affect us. <laughs> On Thursday here, and why some go say, don't mind them. They they show off. No be show off, oh. No, this one not be show off, oh. This one. <laughs> That way, she's not be sure of oh. You go there, you go to see the thing when it will happen after. You go be like, film. Now, man, what you know before, suddenly you go just change. Just watch and see. Watch and see. I don't pray, I don't ask God. He tell me, see, they not born the person well. When we shake any man or woman, we do that kind of thing for him. Say they're not born the witch well. When we shake any man or woman, we do that kind of thing for God. Now we said this church not fine, oh. This one won't one break so. Now some other bishop dream. Let be this one. When is some pastor they dream every they pray, they fast, they go mountain. Now we won't break down. They build another one. Take and make car park. If you never hear, if you won't get money, enter. I'm in charge. If they never tell you that word, listen. Somebody goes to tell you that word. If you won't get money, enter. I'm in charge. At the top, the way at the top, because the Bible says God gave bread to eaters and seed to sowers. And a sower cannot sow without receiving and harvest. He said, Arise and shine, for your light has come. And, and he said, And the Gentiles, which means unbeliever, will come to the raising of the light. Listen, many people are made up their mind to go up. Many people have made up their mind, say, I must go up. Because you made up your mind to go up, you must go up. Yeah. As many that made up their mind say, I must go up, you must go up. Yeah. I say, you must go up. Yeah. Because you make up your mind, say, you must go up, you must go up. Yeah. And it's not next week, it's from now. You start to go up from now. From now, you will start to go up. Up shall you go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You ask God.
God question if you don't know where you are going. Don't ask him question where you know what to do. You ask, you ask him question where you don't know what to do. Because why? God is wiser than us. He's wiser than men. The Bible says the Lord alone lead dead them and there were no strange God with them. God lead them and there were no strange God with them. Without the light, a man cannot be free from the struggles of life. What made you different from your other people is because you have been lighted. And without that light, no one can be free from the power of darkness. If you want to be free from the power of darkness, then try to be lighted. Anything that is not growing, uh, often time I said it, that is not growing, is the absence of light. If something is not growing around your life, it's because of the absence of light. When light comes, darkness will give way. There is something you must know more than your friend before you can do more than your friend. There is something you must know more than your friend if you want to be better than your friend. If you want to be better than your neighbor, then you must know more than your neighbor. You cannot say you and your neighbor know the same thing. If you want to be better than your neighbor, then know better than your neighbor. If you want to go more than your neighbor, know better, Pastor. Know what you don't know, you go go, Pastor. That's what it be. If I want to go more than my neighbor today, I go know past my neighbor. If I know Pastor, I go go, Pastor. That's what it be. So my friends before, my, my, my colleagues, uh, pastors, they are my friend before. They come. When things are not too good, they come. When things begin good, they don't they dress back. Say, you know, maybe they use something. Maybe they use something. I not pass them. They go shift for me. But there are some journey in life you go, you go alone. I don't know whether they hear me. There are some journey you want to go in life, you go alone. If you go with people, they go drag you back. Oh, I want to leave you. Leave them, make them go. When you go the way you reach there, you go say, Hi, how are you? Praise the Lord. Some of them don't come back. They're going to become. I, I tell you, I say, You are not longer my friend. You are one of my child. I talk to you like a child. You are not. I thought you are like, like a baby to me now. You are not a friend. When I was struggling with things, you were not there. So now when I reach where I reach today, I cannot look as a friend. You are a baby. I go teach you something now. There are some journey in life. You go alone. You don't need family family member to even compliment you. Just go alone. After you treat them, I go become they go become children to you. You know, they give them something. Hey, yeah, you what do you want? Five thousand. You what do you want? Two thousand. You what do you want? Praise the Lord. I demand for financial strength of 2,000 men to fall on you. In the name of Jesus. What I'm talking about, I say after some little time, you go get power to pay 2,000 men salary. Now they talk about. I don't know whether they hear me. People go to your village, they call you say, hey, how many people do for that place or village? You say, hey, we'll be nine. Send me your account, give them 100,000, then may they take flesh. What they talk about? They say, I bet who they there? They say, you want to go get, I'll give them 20 million, may they do something. Money we go give out, we go give out, where they come out smoke, yet you know the fill out. Now there will they go. We know if we build this church for God, that church, we know if we build it for God, make our life not be like that too. So get ready. If you never have a worker like a big man, start them today. I don't know whether they hear me. If you never have a worker like a big man, start them today. If you never have a leave for house, we get AC. They learn her now because now there you they go. Nobody oh, hear me. The one of the children said, This man big, very entire house, everywhere go chee. The parlor go chee. Inside the room go chee. They say, I bet off that AC, the place too cold. Off that AC, it's too cold. Now what they talk about. Not be on fan join them, you know, go rich. <laughs> I don't know whether they hear me. Add them fan, make the thing support them, make it. 
I talk about loose fan come out. You don't need down. Because everywhere is chilling, chilling. You'll get there. I say you'll get there. 